What up, what up, what up? What is going on, everybody? We are back with the Tuesday live stream. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm messing with some of my setup here for a second as we kind of get started. Drinking a protein shake. Trying to be healthy. You know we got to be healthy for these Pokemon streams. You can't, can't play Pokemon without your stomach being filled with some protein shakes. So that is what we're doing. And we are picking up right where we left off on the last stream. So to figure out where that's at, because it's been a week... Uh, let's dive in. Let's take a look at the Pokemon. Let's take a look at the map. I believe we were actually on our way to a gym. And I'm really excited to, to play through this today. The exciting news is that we are actually going live on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. So we'll be able to get a lot more action in, a lot more done. But with that being said, let's take a look at where we're at. So as far as the Pokemon that we currently have in the collection, we are starting out with Looks like Bellsprout, we've got Harry, who's our little electric sheep. We've got the Totodile, which is named No. Uh, Rotisserie, which is our Pidgeotto, I want to say. And Freak, which was um, very perfectly named on the last stream uh, as our Drowsy. And then Team Lopi, which is our Togepi. We are trying to grind up and get, get Team Lopi just better like we're, we're just trying to get you know more more team lopi action going so that's where we're at team lopi did die on the last run so that's sad news but we're gonna get team lopi back set up and let's go into the poke gear and see where the heck we're at on the map so we are heading into goldenrod city which is where our next gym is gonna be uh, more or less, we, we have a lot of grinding to do uh, today. We have to get our levels up. I think we're probably pretty under-leveled for where we're heading. So that is the goal of today's streams, is just get the levels right, get ourselves where we need to be. And what's up, Gleaves? How's it going, buddy? How's it going? And I am having some issues with my chat on my stream, so give me one second here live chat okay there we go hopefully that should work all right perfect oh goodness my headphones just died so give me one more second i gotta put my other headphones in literally had them sitting there charging and apparently they didn't charge the way that i needed them to so we're throwing the the other headphones in i was actually excited to use the over your headphones today but we're fine we're gonna keep rocking and there we go all right glebes if you hear me can you send another chat in? i'm trying to see if what i'm seeing on my stream is right i have it set to live chat i just want to make sure it's still working so if anybody that's watching wants to leave a message first of all appreciate you second of all um it'll help me figure out what is going on with my stream because uh, it looks like I'm getting a pretty beefy delay on the the stream chat. Okay, Gleave saying Apex's new event is trash. Okay, the, the comments are pouring in now. It's taking a second to catch up. Oh, let me get that going. That's fine. I got the chat uh, pulled up on my phone. All right, Gleave, so you can hear me. So everything's good. Everything's functioning. Um... I got the chat pulled up over here, so I should be good. It's not working right on the, the YouTube control panel, but that's fine. We'll be all right. Apex new event is trash. Gleaves, it looks sick, dude. I don't even know what you're talking about. I think the new event looks sick. I think it looks sick, but that's just me. That's just me. Who am I to judge? Uh, but anyway, we are heading in now to, to Goldenrod City. Oh my god, I can't... Uh, I have no idea what's going on with my chat stuff. My chat stuff is killing me right now. That's fine. We'll be alright. Heading in to Goldenrod City. And we are going to see about the gym there. We're going to see about grinding up, getting some things going. 700 for one skin. Yeah, I mean... Okay, but that's just kind of how uh, BR games go nowadays, dude. It's all about those microtransactions, sadly. 
All right, so we've got um, a couple of team members actually inside of the little farm here. They're they're growing, um, and again, we are down pretty bad as far as Pokemon go because we have uh, our Togepi has fainted, but we are we're still grinding. So our little Bell Sprout is an absolute monster, and I'm excited to to use him. So let's keep going. We got a cop over here. He's gonna stop us in our tracks. And also, guys, this is this is crucial. This is a big thing for the stream today. I actually have a typing map up in front of me on the screen. So I'm going to be able to figure out all the typings a little bit easier. Okay, and I can tell you off the bat, fire versus grass, that's not, that's not what we want. So we're going to swap out here. All right, what's going to be effective versus fire? Uh, water, right? Let's get Totodile in there. See how that goes. All right, and I forgot we we actually evolved Totodile last. Uh, I think Croconaw is what we're rocking with now. We should be able to clean wipe. Yeah, that's a big hit. Perfect. Got your collecting every Pokemon games video. My recommended enjoying this series so far. Any new developments as far as Pokemon games go? That is a great question. Uh, top five YouTubers, what's up? By the way, I saw your comment on the video. I appreciate you for, for checking things out. Um, there are definitely some new developments. I think the biggest thing I'm trying to do right now is keep the series fresh and just keep new things coming. So I don't want to collect games the same way every time. I'm thinking about some like Facebook marketplace style deals. Um, there's a big city kind of I want to say two and a half hours from my where I live It's pretty far, but they do huge like game swap meets And I really want to go up to some of those and like see what kind of action they have because yeah I just want to I want to spread my wings a little bit that I've gone to every game store around me already So I've kind of like ran that dry so I really need to like dive into some new places Which I'm, I'm really excited about trying out so that is it as far as the new developments go uh and the series is also starting to get a little expensive because we're into some of the the beefier games at this point so at some point i gotta get into some of the switch games and like take it down out of the switch games because they're gonna be a little cheaper but like, i gotta get pokemon black white soul silver hard like those games are i mean a hundred dollars just for the cart and i like to get things cib if i can so that is gonna be tough all right we got psyduck here we're going to bullet seed this guy down. We're going to need a better grass move on Bellsprout. But this will be fine for now. Alright. Bellsprout's bullet seed is disabled. Okay. Okay, so let's try poison powder if we can and see if we can put this thing to sleep. P is doing so good. You're very right. And top five, I don't know if you're still in here, but um, what are do you recommend anything? Anything you want me to pick up in these next videos? I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty open to anything. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Bellsprout's a little, a little monster. Oh no, the attack missed. That's bad. But poison might kill. Poison killed. Perfect. Okay, so we saved Bellsprout. I was not paying attention for a second, and that was not good. But really good XP. Our team is hurting right now. I don't know how far Goldenrod is from our current... Like, it might be just right up here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll take phone numbers. That's fine. Awesome. Okay, so we got... Okay, Goldenrod's right here. So, there's a little patch that we can come in here and... Oh my goodness. This is a mistake. We're gonna have to run from this no matter what it is. It's, of course, it's a drowsy. We already caught one of you. We already caught one of you, Drowsy. So we are running. We gotta go get healed up. So I'm gonna go find the Pokemon Center in here. Oh, I want that ball, actually. Oh my gosh, as soon as I walk back in. 
I have terrible luck with encounters. There's another rat. And we actually caught a rat. I said I wasn't going to do it last uh, last stream, and I did catch a rat. I put him in the little uh, daycare center for now. Let's take the shoes off. I want to see what this ball is. <laughs> We're going to just get hammered with encounters on the way to just one little ball. Alright. This is fine. Alright, we're running away from that, and we're probably, hopefully, gonna get the ball now without another encounter. Perfect. Okay, TM63 Embargo. I'd be lying if I knew what Embargo was. So if anybody knows what that is, please let me know. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are so expensive. Not sure if you have Fire Red already, but that's what I would recommend. Um, say less. I, I really want Fire Red. I actually, two videos ago, I picked up Leaf Green. Uh, which is, I've never actually played Leaf Green or Fire Red. So, I'm gonna get, I, Fire Red, I got you, Top 5. I got you. I'm gonna find Fire Red in the next video. That is, that's gonna be my mission. You might, you might have just came up with the video idea just now. So, I appreciate you for that. But yeah, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are so expensive. You're not lying. I literally, at this little convention I was at last week, there was a booth that had, uh, Soul Silver. And they actually had two copies and the one copy was really messed up and he was still like yeah it's a hundred dollars just for the loose cart of a soul silver that was like all faded and ugly looking and i think he was selling the clean copy for like 150 which is just outrageous but i will say i'm playing through soul silver right now and it is a blast so i understand why it would be more expensive because it's fun and i'm having a fantastic time but Fire Red, that is, I think, my next playthrough might be Leaf Green or Fire Red, to be honest. Um, I've been itching to want to play one of those for a long time. But, okay, so we're all healed up. Let's take a look at the Pokemon as they sit right now in our inventory. We are definitely under-leveled, right? Like, we got a level 9, we got a level 12. I'm not fully happy with, with the mix we have right now. I really would love a fire type. I don't know how soon it's going to be for us to get a fire type. But we're missing out on some typings. And I want to explore Goldenrod. But I'm very scared that we're under leveled for anything we might get into. So what I'm going to do for the next... Let's call it five minutes maybe. I'm going to jump over... Oh wait, no. It's going to be Drowsies over here. I want somewhere where I can grind. So maybe we can find somewhere to grind in inside of Goldenrod. Like let's just talk to random people. There's a radio tower here. Jay, what's up? Good to see you, man. I would not accept ten thousand dollars for my hardcore game. I always end up reloading it. Jay, I appreciate the commitment. I appreciate the commitment, and like, like I said, I'm playing through this game so far, like through Soul Silver, is like this has been a blast. And like, just look at all the, just the the feel of this game is so cool. And I know we were talking on last stream about having the the Pokemon follow so sick so i'm with you man if i get once i get these games by the way i'm not selling any of them like i'm keeping this full collection forever um but let's go ahead and check some stuff out in here right so we're kind of locked in here let's check out this place let's see what we got going on in here okay this guy with hat i feel like is always has something Guy with hat always has something to say. Okay, there's prizes. Department store has a decent selection, but some items are only available as game corner. Okay, so is this is this like where there's like a casino or something? So we're in the department store right now. Mom's good at bargain hunting. She always buys stuff at lower prices. Okay, shout out to mom. I'm ready to shop again today. Okay, so looks like we got a little escalator over here. Nothing too crazy. Nothing over there. We'll take the old escalator up. All right, let's just talk, let's just let's have some conversations. Let's see how everybody's doing in Goldenrod City. They seem to be doing pretty good. They got this big store. Got my Abra at the game corner. Now it's my best partner. Okay, Abra's clutch. Goldenrod is a big city. This selection here is unmatched to anywhere else. Okay, that's kind of dope. Shelves are jammed with vibrant Pokemon goods. Okay, so let's see about these people over here and what they're selling. Probably can't afford anything. Okay, so this is just standard, standard stuff. Uh, we have $6,000 right now. 
let's grab us a few things. So potion wise, let's make sure we have an even 10. Actually, is that worth it? What's a super potion? Let's grab three more super potions just so we have them. And maybe I shouldn't be spending money until I see what this place all has to offer. So I'm probably going to stop. I, oh, revive. Dang, it's expensive. We gotta get some more trainer battles going because that is expensive. Okay. So there's a second person. Let's see what they have too. What do you need? Let's see what the second person has. Okay, they sell balls. You can get ultra balls from here. You can get a doll. Super repel. I don't know what this mail is. Stationary featuring your print of... Let a Pokemon hold it for delivery. Okay, maybe that's something that we figure out what the heck that is. Jay, so much trades on on GTS and that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a big like trade station. I'm excited to explore Goldenrod. I'm very, I know this is a, a famed area in Pokemon games. How many floors are there? Oh my. Guys, are, are we diving into this right now? Okay, like, let's check out the floors. I mean, there's got to be something in here, right? The battle collection to aim for strong, tough Pokemon. Okay. So every floor, I guess, has its own themes and whatnot. And I'm wondering if you just have to... Oh, Lyra's calling me. I feel like this is important. Coming to the Cradle Trader someday. What am I saying? I'm starting to sound like a professor. Okay, that was kind of an unnecessary call. I appreciate gassing me up, but jeez. Okay, so this is um, X, X things, X accuracy, S, X speed, all that good stuff. And I just realized there's an escalator and I keep on going into the elevator, but you know, we've walked enough. We've walked enough at this point. Let's, let's, let's take the elevator. Next time we'll take the escalator. I guess you don't have to walk. Okay, medicine box. Okay, so that one, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be super interested in really buying anything at this point i know it looks like jay said there's a tm floor that one might be okay so let's see let's at least see what is available in the tm store i'm at least curious about that okay so it's flash evade attacks berry a restrained attack that prevents the foe from fainting. Okay. This is really cool how wow, it's like mysterious. It doesn't tell you exactly what the move is. Intense blast of air. Oh, I almost just... Okay, cool. So these are... We just got to get our money up and then we can come back here and just get insane at the game. So let's check the last floor. Let's jump out of here. This is cool, though. I really like this department store kind of feel. Um... We'll head up to the last floor, and then we will head back out on the streets of Goldenrod. Rooftop Atrium. Daily Drawing Corner. Okay, let's check this one out. I'm glad we, set, we stopped up here. You must try... The must try of the Goldenrod is smart. Welcome to the Daily Drawing Corner. You can try for $300, and we have wonderful prizes. Yeah! I'll gamble a little bit. Wow, you got yourself the number three prize. Please take it. Got a berry! Okay, I've never been that excited to get a berry before. Okay, so it tells you what the prizes are first. So TM91 was one, repeat ball was two. Th oh, so I got the worst prize. I got the worst prize. That's really sad. I thought there was just like a bunch of prizes, but I got the worst one. So I'm grabbing a drink real quick. Happy Tuesday, everybody. We are back on the bubbly train this week. We're drinking bubbly. All right. I'm going to go talk to some people because you never know in these games, like what people have. Which shows you prefer. So is there, there's going to be like a radio station here. I think they said that earlier. That's kind of cool. Oh, vending machine. Okay. Let's buy a soda pop. Let's buy a soda pop. Perfect. All right. We're rocking. We got a pop now. We're going to get out of here. Decided not to buy a drink. Yeah. Okay. 
all right that was fun that's cool to see so let's get let's get out of here let's uh check out what the rest of goldenrod city has to offer because i'm sure it's got a ton to offer oh b1f what is b1f b1f has the warehouse it is not open to customers okay so i can't walk in here you're saying uh oh am i somewhere where i shouldn't be at <laughs> jay yo jay am i somewhere i shouldn't be at all right machoke's moving stuff okay i feel like this is really cool. We're gonna find some stuff down here. Looks like there's just random balls. All right, we got an ultra ball. That's clutch. Oh, nice. So we just got, oh, okay. Nothing I can do here, huh? Oh, shoot. Okay. Guess there's just nothing I can do. Can this Machoke move this? Can you move that? Okay, he moved that one. That's helpful. All right. Got a burn heal, so we're just collecting, we're collecting some stuff that you that are nice to keep. Can you move this one? Why won't he move it? Okay, tragic. Uh, it's fine. Oh, okay. Now we got him. We just had to interact. All right, perfect. Uh, we're collecting the last little thing in here. Got an ether. Okay. So, the trip to the warehouse was not worth nothing, it seems. There is a little walkway over here that I don't exactly know how to get to, but that's fine for now. That's fine for now. There's, there's stairs somewhere that we have to figure out, and we'll get there at some point. All right, which floor are you taking me to? The exit. Okay, I just clicked exit, not not the exit, right? All right, let's be smarter than that today. We're gonna go to the first floor and then we're gonna leave. And we're gonna explore around, have a good old time. Okay. And if you hear my dog bark, I apologize. Someone just pulled up to the house, it sounds like. Um, and he is very defensive, so you might hear a little something. Alright, what is this? Goldenrod City Game Corner, a safe and sound playground. Okay, so I'm just gonna peep in here. I don't, I feel like I could get lost in here because this is gonna be like gambling, isn't it? Or am I gonna get the battle? It's gonna be one or the other, right? Coin game, in fact, that's what I live for. You look like quite a challenger. Why don't you play my coin game? You have fabulous prizes. Yeah. All right, here's your coin case. Uh-oh, uh-oh, y'all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, where do you play? Oh, do you just play in this? You just walk up to this and play? Oh, he's gonna show me how to play. Oh God. Play Voltorb Flip. Okay, Voltorb Flip level one. Flip the cards and collect coins. Let's play. So you just collect the boxes? Am I trying to connect to something? I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is bad, huh? Flip the cards and collect coins. Oh, so I need to find two. I found three. Oh, so that's what you, that's bad. Okay, that, that blows up all the coins. All right, so I get it now. I get it now. We're gonna play one more time. Okay, we started out with getting exploded. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. All right, we got, we gotta, we gotta get like a solid run in, right? So you, can you just leave at any time? Okay, we're getting our coins up. 
We're getting our coins up. No! Okay. That's interesting. I don't really know, like, what you're supposed to end up doing there, or if you just leave when you have a certain amount of coins that you want. Oh, it's like Minesweeper. You know what's funny? Let me go to how to play real quick. If you flip the cards in this order, you'll collect three, one, two, one, two. Total 18 coins. Then. If you collect Clit, okay. So more or less, you just quit whenever you're ahead. So you can keep gambling. This makes sense. Okay. It's funny, Jay. Like, I always saw Minesweeper on, like, the windows. And I would click it, like, when I was a kid. And I'd have no idea what I was doing. But I get it. I get it now. How much time do I want to spend on this? One more. One more shot. One more shot. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're done. We're out. Pretty sure you can buy Porygon with those coins. Oh, okay. So the, mo the more coins you get, you can get Porygon. Okay, I like that. I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now. We might come back to it. But that is really fun. I don't know also what Pokemon game it is. If it's this one, let me know. Oh, okay. Here you go. Here you go, Jay. So... Exchange coins or prizes, so you can get Abra, Sandshrew, or Dratini. Oh my god. I could see myself, if I was not streaming this, I could see myself sitting here and playing this until I had enough for Dratini. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I would just play until I got Dratini. I would figure out all the strats. You can get TMs and stuff, too. Pretty cool. Okay. Look, y'all, we're bookmarking this. And we might come back around at some point, but uh, I want to I want to make some progress in this game today, and I don't think we're gonna make very much progress playing Minesweeper, as fun as that is. Maybe I'll do that off stream. <laughs> Porygon must be in Kanto then. That's very possible. Jay, you, and you guys might come to the next stream because uh, I'm here on Thursday. If you guys are on Thursday, I'll be streaming again. You might you might pull up and be like, "How does he have?" Dratini. It's because I spent the last day working on that. Might just grind in here on my off time. My brother Bill made the Pokemon storage system. Okay, shout out to Bill. Shout out to Bill. Dratini, I know. Dratini, I love Dratini. As we all know what Dratini evolves into. Okay. Meryl. Meryl's up in here. Ah, Lyra sighting. We got a Lyra sighting. Beautiful. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories and dress up and take pictures. Here's the fashion case. It's a present. So I have a fashion case. So it looks like there's a, there's a lot of side, side things you can do here. I don't know how I feel about spending time putting costumes on. But some shops downstairs. And there's also trainers. Okay, so this is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind down here, right? There's trainers. Um, and we got a lot of work to do on the grind. So let's go find some trainers then, right? If they're actually down here. Oh, perfect. Please tell me these are battles. Let's go. Okay. Let's see how under level we are for Goldenrod. I got booted at the game corner. I kept winning and they thought I was cheating. All right. So this guy had the algorithm. I need that algorithm from this guy. Oh, this is sick. The little Pikachu. He's coming out with Grimer. Okay, so Grimer uh, is a poison type. So we know we don't have anything that's effective against poison types really at this moment. I don't think. Let's just see what let's see what we can do here. Let's right, can we poison Grimer? Is that even a thing? Okay, that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I just tried to poison Grimer. How, why would I think that would work? Uh, let's try cut. Okay. I just needed to cut the whole time. I'm overthinking it. This is fine. Everything's fine. We're coming back with another cut. Mud slap. Okay, so mud slap sucks, but the accuracy is falling. Hopefully we get these off. This should kill. Nope. Okay. Pound. Okay. Hope he knows he's punching a cute little plant. 
That's kind of messed up. Alright, so we got Bellsprout up to level 17. Love to see it. I didn't see how many he has. A Stun Sport. Oh my god. So many good moves I just can't put on. I could... I could take Flash off and go with Stun Spore, couldn't I? But I also have Poison Powder, so I, I got the Poison. Yeah, let's... Let's let's not learn Stun Spore. I feel like I might regret that later, but for now we're fine. Keep old moves. Okay. Oh my gosh, give up. I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Grimer coming back out again. Uh, let's just see for the hell of it. If Togepi, aka Team Lopi, can take down this Grimer, my doubts are here. But, we're gonna try extra sensory. Mud Slap shouldn't do much. It does mess with the accuracy. Let's see if this does anything. This is gonna be huge. Let's see what it, what it does. It does a lot. Okay. Uh, and I, I do believe Poison is weak to Psychic type moves. But, we're not gonna be able to, to do this. So, unless this super crits. We can we tank one more of those? Do we stick in and try to tank one more of these? What's up, Spikey? What's good, Spikey? Should not have stayed in. I'm really <laughs> I'm selling with uh with Togepi. Um let's see, who else needs some levels? Maybe we try with Freak. S Spikey always coming in here with the uh, the sick emotes. I appreciate you. Uh, we got Hypnosis, we got Confusion. I don't know... Okay, Hypnosis wasn't the move. That's fine. I don't know what... Confu Does Confusion do damage? Yes is the answer. It does great damage. Okay, beautiful. Freak, getting some XP. Nice. Taking down Super Nerd Eric. And I'm going to plug in my other headphones. They died earlier. There we go. Okay. I'm really sad about that because these keep falling out of my ears. So if you guys see me like pushing in, it's because these headphones kind of suck. But we are going to keep fighting these trainers. Let's get somebody some levels. Maybe we keep leading with Drowsy for now. I mean, if we can get levels into Drowsy, I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm definitely not gonna be mad about it. But we need money, we need levels, right? We need all kinds of things. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. What Pokemon's getting a haircut? Oh my goodness. Lickitung? Lickitung got a haircut? Uh, okay. All right, so we go Hypnosis off the lead. Did we put it to sleep? Yes, we did. All right, this drowsy might be OP, low key. We'll hit the confusion. See if we do anything with that. Nope. It's fine. We're gonna have to try pound. I don't think it's gonna do much either. Okay, we're gonna have to switch out. Uh, or we could just keep hammering confusion. Yeah, Supersonic is not going to hit, man. It's not ever going to hit, it seems. Back on the Confusions. Shouldn't take more than what? Two or three more? Maybe three more? I absolutely love the name of this Drowsy. I cannot remember who in the chat on last stream recommended this name. Oh, he's got Freak Confused. Is he going to hurt himself in Confusion? Wow. Oh, uh, lick. Nasty. Nasty work. Alright, we're out of confusion. We're hitting him with confusion. It's a confusion off. We are one more away. We are one more away. Oh! And we're paralyzed now. No! I didn't mean to use hypnosis. Oh boy, we're dead, huh? 
I did not mean to use hypnosis. Okay, let's switch out. Drowsy, you tried. You tried, tried hard. Get Croconaw back in here. Cut, yeah, no. Uh, and we'll just scratch, because this should just end them. Nice. Very confused. The guy said his Pokemon got a haircut, but I guess Lickitung is bald. I, I guess Lickitung is bald, so maybe maybe it makes sense. Alright, so Drowsy is in pain. Um, let's... Let's lead Totodile and just get mad levels in Totodile, maybe. Maybe we just create an absolute monster. I'm not done fight fighting here, though. Okay, I don't want to buy anything here. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just $500. Would you like me to do that? No, not right now. We're good on that. Are there any more trainers in here is the question. Yes is the answer. Okay, perfect. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. I don't know how rare they are. I don't know how rare they are. Pokemaniac. Alright, Slowpoke. We love you, Slowpoke. Uh, but we don't love you that much. We are gonna go with maybe Bite? Anything should kind of eat this guy up. Okay, Bite is the move against normal types, maybe. And we're gonna need a good bit more... Oop, didn't mean to switch. So we're gonna stay in. We're gonna get a level here for Croconaw. And we know Bite's gonna one-shot. Off to a good start. We're fighting good today, everybody. We're fighting good today. Some more XP in the mix. Level 19. Yes. Okay. Donald goes down. Right, let's see if we can find our way into some more battles. Perfect. This is what I want right now, everybody. We got we got to tank up a little bit. We got to tank up a little bit. We might be kind of like adequately leveled, but it just doesn't feel right. Okay, he's got four Pokemon. Magnemite being one of them. Uh, and we are weak to electric, but I almost feel like we're going to be able to one-shot all these. Regardless. Metal sound. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that move before. Special defense fell, that's fine. We're gonna keep biting away. If we get something bigger than a Magnemite, I'm probably gonna switch out. Heck yeah. Heck yeah is right. Voltorb. Uh, we'll switch out for Voltorb. Uh, maybe we go with... Should we do some electric on electric or... No, let's get, let's get Rotisserie in for some, some time. I don't know how much XP we need on... Okay, we need a lot more to get to level 19. That's fine. Oh, man. This game is so sick looking. I'm a huge fan. Alright, let's try Gust. I don't think it's going to be super effective. But if it chunks a little bit... That's not very much. And we're going to get paralyzed at some point here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't even remember what Whirlwind does. Uh-oh. Oh, this Voltorb is going to be a monster, huh? This Voltorb is going to be a monster, huh? I don't think that's going to do much. Okay, Rowan pushes the next person in. Interesting. Quite interesting. Uh, let's just try a quick attack. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to quick attack these electric types. I don't have any Pokemon currently that are effective against Electric, by the way. I could see that being a problem. At some point here. I don't know when we get to the Electric Gym, but... If that's Goldenrod, we're in some trouble. And we gotta catch something. Uh, we'll keep battling. I know he's got Voltorb coming back in. We know Quick Attack does something. Okay, perfect. Alright, one more quick attack, and we're going to take Voltorb out. Wonderful. 
quite wonderful. Thank you for the free XP. Magnemite. Uh, we're gonna keep it in. If anything weird happens here, we'll switch out. Oh, it's Magnemite. That's right. Okay. So this should one hit KO. Right? Two hit KO. Sorry. They finally use a move that with paralysis. It did not paralyze though. Okay, perfect. This should do it then. Alright, the team's fighting today. The team is absolutely fighting today. This is this is the type of thing we like to see. We're getting some XP. I need my little back pillow, which is over here. Hold up. Hold up. Back pillow acquired. It's all about the comfort. It's all about the comfort. You gotta have back support when you're sitting for a long time. Alright. Took down another trainer. This is really good. Uh, we got levels for Rotisserie and for Totodile. We keep getting these calls that... that whatever. That are whatever. I still haven't caught Ditto. It's getting beyond frustrating. Okay, I mean, the pursuit of Ditto, I guess, is a thing. What is this? The camera. Okay, so this is where you do the thing. All right, I'm not really interested in doing that right now. I don't know what happens when you go up these stairs. Is this just like a different place? I challenge you a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. Okay. Is this going to take me out somewhere else? Okay, this just popped me out in a whole different location. There's the gym. All right, we need to get to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Okay, so the only way through is this way. So that's good to know. At least it seems that way, that the, the main way through is actually going this way. Let me make sure there's not a trainer I can fight down here. I don't know what this is. No entry beyond this point. Okay, so you can't even go in here. All right, so we got some work to do here. We're gonna go heal up. And then we will keep on making progress throughout here. Oh, Pokemon Center is back this way. Perfect. All right, we are healing up. What do you guys think? Um, I got Gengar back here in the background. Does anybody have any thoughts on what their favorite Pokemon is? Let me know in the in the chat. You don't need to pass in the tunnel, actually. <laughs> Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate you. I haven't tried going out the other way, like north of here. So let me see if I can find my way there without going through the tunnel. And I realized I've never really explored the upstairs in these places. I don't even know what is up here communication club okay so this is where you would do online okay that's kind of cool jay i appreciate you with the tips but yeah what's everybody's favorite pokemon let me know in the chat let me know in the chat mine is uh, is obviously gengar huge gengar guy i got a gengar mouse pad i got the gengar there my wallpaper on my phone is gengar i'm pretty wild with that kind of stuff regarding gengar at least oh the, all right jay <laughs> it's funny i came out here i literally came out here and i go no only way is through the tunnel is through the tunnel okay so you can go through there that's good to know let's keep checking things out though this town is super cool it's a new bike shop oh we need a bike playing in the basement of the department store that's funny is that man in black dressed up like a team rocket member how silly Oh, I don't think he's dressed up like one. Get about the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. Okay, that's a radio tower. And we got something over here, too. It's this. Global terminal. Amazing and completely global terminal. I'm assuming this is, like, online stuff over here. So maybe we'll leave that alone for now. I have a couple, but Celebi is number one. Okay, Jay. I like that. That's unique. Celebi is super cool. Johto Kanto, Magnet Train Line. Alright, what is this Team Rocket guy doing over here? 
Oh, he's up to something weird. So there's something weird going on in here. I like Snorlax and Chauncey, specifically the shiny Chauncey. Yeah, the shiny Chauncey's got that little mint kind of look to it. Super cool. I support that. I definitely support Snorlax. Welcome to Golden Arms Radio Tower. Saw the movie, it made me cry as a child. Oh, dude. The Pokemon like movies, it used to hit so different. Pokemon Lottery Corner. If the number drawn matches the ID number of any Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. Would I like to check today? Sure. Are we going to win? Let's see. Uh, we didn't win. Okay, that's tragic. Yeah, I've been like, I've been really wanting to go back and watch all the Pokemon movies, and it's just like, it's emotional. Some of those are emotional, like the connection to certain Pokemon, like the Butterfree episode uh, from like the original series. Like I know you guys remember the Butterfree episode. That one's legendary. The Butterfree with the shiny Butterfree. Can you check the town map? Oh wait, I'm in a quiz right now. You all know I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Can you check the town map with your Pokegear? Yeah, you can. We're one for one right now. Nidorina can only be female. I'm assuming, yeah. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. All right, we gotta try this again. Ready to get five in a row. Did they mix them up when you miss? Oh, okay, so it's the same questions. So we're gonna go through. We're get. We're gonna pass the quiz. Second time's always a charm. I forget what he uses if he doesn't use apricots. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. Yeah. Okay. We're learning too. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie? I don't know. No. Okay. We know all the answers now. Remember when I said second time's a charm? It was actually a joke. Uh, because I meant third time's a charm. The whole time when I said second time's a charm, I meant third time's a charm. So we're in here taking the quest for the third time. Because that's the charm. And we know all the answers. It is interesting, though, the Magikarp question. It makes sense. But how was I supposed to know about Professor Oak's show? Is it possible to use a TM on Magikarp? Yes. Professor Oak's popular show. Uh, is he all with Marie? The answer is no. See? Perfect. That was the first time we actually tried that. We got it on the first try. I got a radio card. You can now listen to the radio with the Pokey Gear. That's really cool. All right, Whitney. If I you did it, I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricot. So did I. Okay, so that's the gym leader, right? Whitney. That's Whitney. Okay, so we got we got some interesting stuff going on in here. Maybe. We're gonna find out if it's interesting or not. Look at that. Is that Jigglypuff? Is that Jiggly is that Jigglypuff? That's a creepy looking Jigglypuff. Oh man. This environment is so sick. Lullabies on the po the radio make wild Pokemon sleepy. That's why you don't see many Pokemon when the radio plays lullabies in the tall grass. Wait, so now I have the radio? How does this work? Oh, this is kind of cool. This is your DJ brand bringing you the Pokemon Music Channel. Marion Oak. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we got a little radio access. I'm a fan. Now, does that just stay on? That's cool. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. If anybody in here has something good. Oops, they call that a TV. Yeah, clever. All right, this person's got to have something, right? Save up the blue card points for some choice prizes. Buena. Buena's password. If you can tell me the password from the program, you'll earn points. Save up those points and trade them. That sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. It's your very own point card. Yo, Jigglypuff is fire. That was... It's kind of creeping me out just the slightest bit, to be honest. 
it's creeping me out just the slightest bit. I'm gonna turn it back around. Yeah, like that is, that's kind of freaky, but it's also kind of cute. I don't really know how to explain it. It is what it is. Okay, so I can't get up there yet. Something wrong with the director. Okay, so we're gonna start un uncovering some, some lore here as we go on. All right, we got the little glitch back. Shout out to the emulator. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Have we explored everything we want to? Okay, there's the train line right there. We gotta explore up here and then maybe we see how we get to the gym because we got some work. The Manta Tent rates your Pokemon names. You can even rename your Pokemon. Okay, so if we wanna rename anybody, we can go in there and do so. Is this the bike shop? Oh, okay, no, this is where we came in. So I feel like I'm missing where to get a bike. Flower shop. Oh God, we got the glitch inside now. We got the glitch inside. This is bad. Happens heal at the Pokemon Center. Okay, sure. Oh, there's another guy over here. Couldn't use any of the PowerPoints. We're gone. Okay, whatever. Get this glitch off, get this glitch off. All right, we're back. Goldrod City Pokemon Gym Leader Whitney. Okay, so it's gonna be what? Fairy type? I think. So Bell Sprout with some poison powder could probably work through that pretty easily. We'll see if it lets us actually like start doing this shen. There's usually some kind of like side quest you have to do, but oh, okay. Alright, so look. Do I think we're ready for this gym? No. No, I don't. Are we going into this gym and we're going to try it? Yeah. Yeah, we are. So, let's get Bellsprout in here and see if we can't poison up all these guys and do something cool with it. Okay, so Whitney's over there. And we're going to do all the battles just because we want the XP, to be honest. So even if there's a way around, we're going to do everything. That's just the mindset I'm in right now. Best way to get the XP. Alright, Centret. Okay. And maybe we are leveled pretty good, because these are pretty low. Uh, Centret is a normal type, I believe. So we'll just... Cut him down. Foresight. Okay, fine. It's fine with me. Identified me. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. So I can't use cut. It's gonna quick attack me. Okay. Oh, bullet seed. Oh, bullet seed. No, fairy was not in this game. What is it? Is it psychic then? I swear it was something. Okay. Sentry, we'll keep battling. All right. No cut was pretty effective. Yeah, what type is Whitney then, Jay? All right, cut is just not hitting apparently. We're just getting quick attacked. Does Bolt Seed do anything? Yeah. If we can get three or four. Very nice. Yeah, Bellsprout is a dog. Oh my god. Okay, Bellsprout. Do your thing. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep Bellsprout in for this whole time. Would not mind getting the level. Okay, so it's a level 16 centric, so it's going to hit a little harder. We might have to potion up after this quick attack. We probably will. Yeah. Normal type. Okay. Nice. So this gym, we shouldn't have any problems with this gym. We really shouldn't. And if we do, that's on me. Uh, we're going to potion up here. We'll just try like a regular potion for now. Just get ourselves in a decent spot. 
Because we're going to have to tank a quick attack. Oh my god. Alright, let's actually switch. Uh, we'll switch in rotisserie. Alright, so we got a normal type gym. That makes you feel a little better. Perfect, okay. We'll just gust away and hope that this crits. It did not. I wonder whose quick attack will go first. Mine. Beautiful. Alright, centered down. Moving into the next one. Moving into the next battle. Perfect. Okay. Let's get Bellsprout out of the lead position. Uh, we'll lead actually with Harry. For a little bit here. And we'll move No up here. Just in case there's a double battle. And we'll see if we can get to rocking. Because we got to get down low. And I'm going to take off the running shoes. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to keep battling it out. Give it your best shot, I'll take you down. Good luck. We're leading with Harry. That's just what we're doing. Meowth. I'm a little worried we're gonna see some high levels. And that's fine. Because that first fight was super easy, but... Level 16 Meowth off the bat is kind of crazy. Maybe we try a headbutt. Maybe we try a headbutt, see if it works. It doesn't work great. Thundershock worked a lot better. It's outspeeding me. Mm. And we flinch off the bite. Oh boy. I'm glad we got heals. Perfect. Got Harry up to level 16 now. I feel like we should be getting some new moves on some of these. Alright, another Meowth. Let's switch out. Let's get No in there. And Normal is weak. Only The only real weakness for Normal is fighting types. Which we do not have. Uh, but let's let's see what water gun will do Maybe something Something good, okay, so I think uh, Crocodile is gonna be pretty good for us here Against these normals water guns gonna do some good damage Beautiful Amphros is on your elite four team at the end yeah, Jay, I think I'm keeping I think I'm keeping uh keeping that one in. Uh it's just like a nice electric type. It's got some versatility. It's cool. I'm definitely a fan. Alright, now, classic me. Can we figure out how to get places? Cause it's seeming like a no already. How do I get in there? That is the question. We're gonna get in there though, one way or another. This is obviously not the way. Oh boy. <laughs> it's kind of fun doing this on a keyboard actually. Okay, I think if I come in somewhere like... All right, we're gonna shoot the gap somewhere. It looks like I can get through right there, but I can't. Why am I so challenged when it comes to any puzzle? I mean, really. Any puzzle, I am just completely challenged. We'll find our way in though. Oh, duh. Look, big brain. Big brain power getting used. Like I said, we're fighting every trainer. 
We're fighting every trainer. We want to see what everybody's got going on. Last carry sends out Snubble. Okay. Level 17 Snubble. Okay, Harry's attack is down. We're going to go ahead and switch back in. I meant to do this before, so we're going to take some damage, and I think we'll be fine. But I do really want to get some XP in here. Speed fell, that's fine. Let's see what Water Gun's doing. The Snubble over here. Some really good damage, actually. Lick! Oh, yeah. That's not going to do much, bub. That's fine, though. I love Croconade. Like, we're, we're in a great place right now. Charm. What is that going to do? Attack. Fine. Fine. Nice. 114 XP. It's fine. Okay, we split it up a little bit. No worries. Okay. We're going to have one more fight here. I'm actually going to be smart this time and switch in Croconaw. We'll get through this fight and we'll use potions as needed here. But this gym seems pretty easy so far. Which is scaring me. Because I don't know what, what Whitney's got on deck. Alright, three Pokemon this time. Jigglypuff, uh-oh. Are we going to be falling asleep here? Are we going to be falling asleep here? I don't like that. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh no. See, this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be a thing. We're asleep, we're asleep already. Uh, which is fine because I hope I have awakening. I don't. Uh, wait. I have no awakenings. That's kind of an L. Uh, let's swap in Rotisserie, because maybe we can quick attack here. Winnie Shim. Yo, let's see how long he says. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Mr. Chops. <laughs> Shout out to you. I, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about what is in store. When I get to Whitney. I'm a little bit worried about what's in store when I get to Whitney. I'm not going to lie. Slightly terrified. Slightly terrified. All right, another Jigglypuff. That's fine. Keep battling it out. We're gonna be we're gonna be asleep across the board here. It seems. I'm gonna try this quick attack. Cute charm infuriated. Okay, we should be able to actually get the Jigglypuff out of here. Oh man, Mr. Chops, you got me scared for what what Whitney's got. I'm like I'm really thinking hard about it right now. Oh boy. Holy Jigglypuffs. How many Jigglypuffs do we have? Level 15 Jigglypuff. Oh, definitely after this battle, we're going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Holy crap. We got a crit, crit with the quick attack. Alright, so it looks like Pidgeotto is going to be the king of this gym at this point. Let's, uh, let's go back. Let's go back and heal at the Pokemon Center before we get into anything here because I'm now very worried about what Whitney's got going on. We're going to heal up and then we're going to come back. Okay. Yeah, we're going to heal up before we head in there. So I'll tell you that much. All right, this city is absolutely beautiful. These little light poles are so sick. All right, we're healing up. We're gonna come in, we're gonna lead with Pidgeotto and we're gonna see what happens. I'm, I'm very worried. Superior Sherry, what other Pokemon games are you gonna buy? I know you got Alpha Sapphire and why. So, Sherry, we actually got um, uh, uh, Sapphire in the last video. We got Yellow in the last video. Um, so we've been building up. I think the next games that we're going for 
Um, I keep saying it. Oh, I got the little glitchy here. We'll go back in and out. Um, I keep saying I'm looking for like Pokemon Black or White. We might have to go the whole way after the gym to get this glitch off. Pokemon Black or White is probably what I'm going for next. Uh, with a little mix of... Hmm. We still need red. Fire red was recommended. I think fire red could be it. Mac Young with the sub. Mac Young with the sub. What's up? Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I got the little stream element set up now too. So anybody who subscribes, um, as long as your like profile is not private, you'll get a little emote on the screen. But yeah, Sherry, we're going for we're going for anything. Black black and white are probably what I'm I'm going for. And Mr. Chops, I see you yeah, should do uh, black and white next if you haven't. Hundred percent agree. I have literally multiple times seen black and white and just it was either too expensive at the time or I just I don't know. I went with something else, but I think that time is up. Um, and it's just time to go with with black or white. So that is my mission. But I'm open to just about anything. I also have to start getting Switch games. I don't have all the Switch games yet. I think that's like an easy thing that I can start doing. And now we are here to good old Whitney. I have no idea what Whitney has. Mr. Drops has scared me here. Only two. Okay, so that is horrifying. Okay, Clefairy. Okay. Let's see if Quick Attack's hitting as hard as it was on Jigglypuff. It's not. Okay, we're infuriated now. Double slap. Oh, double slap. Oh my god. Back to the quick attack. She got cow. Oh, she's got mill tank. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I did kind of know that. I did kind of know that actually. The cow of doom. <laughs> that's hilarious. Old copies of Heart Gold Soul Silver, Black and White 2 are dude, yeah, they are. They are. I think I was telling the chat earlier I saw um Soul Silver out in the wild recently and like a loose copy that was all mangled up, like it wasn't a clean copy, was a hundred dollars just for the loose copy. And like that's insane. Oh, did she use like a potion or something? I'm immobilized by love. I'm immobilized by love right now. I don't know the does that does that fade out yes it does okay all right this mill tank i'm already thinking about the mill tank but i gotta get this clefairy out and i don't want to lose rotisserie <laughs> rotisserie is in love with clefairy we're still getting click attacks off i'm already subdued your pokemon collection is building that's good. I missed fire red. Oh, uh, Sherry, I might have misspoke. I did not get fire red yet. I got leaf green, uh, but fire red, I think, is one of my next up. So, like, if I were to put a dream list together of what I'm looking for, fire red, black and white, um, heart gold, soul silver, that's kind of the next line of, like, big boys that I want to get. But I'm down for whatever. Sherry, what do you what do you want? What do you want me to get? Let me know. I'm open for suggestion as well. If there's something you want me to pick up, I'll go look for it. Grass knot. It's not very effective. Okay, so maybe this quick attack will get the shiggly puff out of here. Or this clip. Uh, no, a soup potion. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is that the second super potion that they've used? metronome this is an in interesting battle so far okay u-turn that's gonna hurt not really all right so now we're gonna get our first glimpse at mill tank oh look at him look at the mill tank oh god okay um i'm obsessed with quick attack but i'm also interested to see stomp okay what's this gonna do oh that's what it's gonna do. Okay, we are switching out. Uh, we're gonna put Croconaw in. This is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Uh, first time his metronome rolled a self heal move. Okay, yeah. Black two and white two and Omega Ruby. 
Oh, I did. I actually picked up Sherry uh, a Mega Ruby in the last video. So I don't know if you saw the last video went out on Sunday, I think. Um, I did get a Mega Ruby, so I'm excited. I got that one up on the shelf already. Uh, but Black 2 and White 2, good recommendations. Good recommendations. Guys, I might be... I might be in trouble here against this mill tank. I've underestimated. I have underestimated this. What I might be able to do is try to get some status moves in. So if I switch in Bell Sprout, I might be able to get a poison out. But Jay, you're right. It's better for her to for her to use that on Clefairy. Oh, can we get this poison powder in? No. Okay, I have a good idea. So I'm probably gonna lose this fight. I have a pretty good idea on how I can actually do something here. Like, I need to get some status moves in. So, for instance, even if I go with Drowsy. Um, I could do Disable. I could do Confusion. I'm going to try Hypnosis. How do you even stream the, the real games? There's a few ways. I would say what I'm doing now is I'm just emulating. Which is... I don't love doing that, but it's it's kind of is what it is. There is a contraption or a device that I'm actually looking into getting. I just saw it today. It's a little card that, um, or a little like port that you plug into your computer and you can put the cartridge in and it'll play directly on the computer. So I think moving forward, so that's for GBA or for any Game Boy game, moving forward, that's how I'm gonna stream these because I have a lot of the games now, which is great. All right, so we're, I mean, we're gonna lose this. So I don't really want to, I don't know. But Sherry, yeah, I got a Mega Ruby. I got it for a really, really good deal as well with the box. Uh, so pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, we're losing this, everybody. We're losing this pretty bad. But I have ideas going forward. So I'm just going to take the L here. Get out of here as fast as we can. That's nice because you'll keep the progress in the real game. Exactly, Jay. Exactly. That's what I'm looking to do. Like, I didn't really know how I wanted to do the streams or like how it was going to go originally. And I started out with just an emulator. So I was like, okay, let me just see if this is going to work. And uh, obviously, if I can get people to watch and have some fun, which I absolutely am having a ton of fun right now. So now I'm going to upgrade it and I want to play off of the real game. So that is what we're going to do. And one of these days we'll even get into like just streaming directly from the switch because there's some switch games that i still have to beat too uh and play so there's a lot to play there's a lot to do we're gonna have a ton of fun with the with the series but for now we are gonna lose this fight uh and we're gonna regroup we're gonna regroup this mill tank is an absolute monster you guys were not lying you guys were not lying <laughs> you guys are not lying about this there I was, little old me, thinking this was going to be super easy. But I do have some ideas. We're going to we're gonna try to get some status effects because I can already see... Can I still... Am I still in this? Am I still in this? Like, if I were to use a so, uh, super potion right now... I might still be in this. Maggie was my MVP on this fight. She swept my whole team down to the Togepi, so all I could do was stall by lowering her attack with Charm and raising my defense with Defense Curl. Oh, so you just PP drained. That's a, that's not a bad idea either. I can also Whirlwind Mill Tank out if I don't die to this. I'm just kind of exploring what I'm going to do when I come back. But I can whirlwind mill tank out. I just want to get this Clefairy dead because we haven't even done that. We haven't even got Clefairy out, and I like. I don't think I'm even tank a Clefairy hit. So what? I know, Ch Mr. Chops, you were saying something about metronome. I don't really fully know what metronome does. Okay, so we did we did kill Cle Clefairy, so we're 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 somewhere. The problem is, and we're getting XP, so this is good. This is very good. 
Uh, will I switch? Let's switch in Freak. And maybe we'll just potion up and just see if we can make something happen here. Because I think we got... Do we have anything on any status effects? So we got Paralyze on Mill Tank right now. If we can pull this out... I don't even know what to say if we can pull this out. Let's restore... Let me go back in here. Let's see... Uh... Let's restore Rotisserie and Croconaw. And see if we can tank a couple of hits. So we'll Super Potion up, Rotisserie. See if we can tank a hit. Milk Drink. Okay, so it's gonna get a full heal, that's fine. Uh, we'll go in, we'll try to do uh, Hypnosis. Oh, it failed, dang. Metronome rolls a random move. Oh, okay, I got you. So it's a random move every time. Can we get a hypnosis one, please? No. Sherry, trying to complete my Pokedex on Alpha Sapphire. If anyone wants to help, I'm looking for people who play Pokemon for trades. Sherry, I might hit you up. I'm, when I dive back into Alpha Sapphire, I'm down to do some trades. I'm 100% down to do some trades. And we're going to use this time to put another potion on Croconaw. Okay. So our best Pokemon are full healed. We're probably gonna lose. We're probably gonna die on that, right? Okay, that's fine. Can we get a hypnosis off? Oh, you know I should disable. Okay, so stomp is disabled. I would love to have had rollout disabled. Maybe I messed up there. I got ideas. Some things are turning for when we get back in here because I could probably use drowsy to really good effect. So, at this point, there's no great moves here other than maybe sand attacking accuracy down. But I also don't know, maybe... Okay, Miltank's paralyzed. This is good. You can't inflict a Pokemon with more than one... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so I can't paralyze and sleep. And here I was <laughs> just, like, hammering hypnosis. I appreciate you guys in the chat so much because... I just need the help. I need the help. But what we can do is lower the accuracy as much as we possibly can. And we're kind of stalling right now, which is good. We're in love right now. Don't love that. I'm not I'm not in love. I don't know how that counts. I, I'm not in love. I'm immobilized by love still. Okay, so... Miltank, oh no, okay, so it's no longer disabled. Can we get another sand attack in? Okay, so accuracy should be pretty low for a Miltank. We might be able to actually start doing some damage here. Especially with that paralysis. So, let's jump in, let's see if a uh, quick attack, oh, I'm still in love, damn. It's fine. We're making a little dent there. It got a stomp off. Okay, so we cannot tank another stomp. But, we can Super Potion. We can Super Potion. We're gonna try our hardest. I, originally, I was ready to give up on this fight, but I'm not ready to give up right now. Okay, it's missing. We're gonna keep quick attacking. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Is this- does this love thing wear off? Like, I promise you, I'm really not trying to be in love with this, with this, with this cow. We're getting quick attacks off, though. We're chunking in. I don't know if it can heal again. I'm assuming it can. And that's just going to completely deflate me if it happens. Alright, so. I'm going to be smart here, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to actually just use a potion this time. Because if it uses rollout, we're dead. And this paralysis is sticking. Oh, you don't think so? Okay, okay. So I'm just in love forever, it seems. Oh, okay, by switching. Oh, it did use a milk drink again. Is milk drink a move? Is that dumb for me to ask?
If that's the case, we're gonna have to severely PP stall. I'm gonna switch out though after this turn and see if we can shake that up. Alright, Stomp's gonna be brutal. Okay, it wasn't that brutal. Alright, I'm gonna switch out into Croconaw here. Alright, this is intense. This is intense. This is quite intense. Okay, let's go with Bite maybe? I don't know. That does nothing. It's gonna stomp me. It doesn't do too much, that's fine. Water gun, like I'm just trying everything right now. I don't know what's gonna be the most effective. We're figuring it out. It's gonna keep using milk drink. It's gonna keep using milk drink. You're kidding me. If it's an item, it would say trainer name used instead of the Pokemon's name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I'm, we're doing everything we can. I don't know. I feel like Rage might be a good move because it just builds up or whatever. Maybe not, though. I don't know. I just got to get better at like understanding some of these moves and what they actually do. Rage is building. Is that does that mean that the attack gets stronger every time? How many milk drinks? Like it, like that how many milk drinks? Like what are we doing here? Let's go ahead and use another potion. I like our chances of PP stalling, I'm not gonna lie. I really like our chances of PP stalling right now. Let's see. Rage is doing nothing, I should probably stop doing that. It raises your attack whenever you're hit by something while using it. Okay, I got you. And because it's paralyzed, we're not getting hit, so that makes sense. I feel like Bite did the most damage on Krokona. Yeah, Bite does pretty good. We're getting some misses. We just gotta get... If it has Milk Drink like every two seconds, it flinched. Wait, can we get this Bite off? Wait. Oh my god. No! Oh! We were so close. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna- we're absolutely gonna do it. I'm telling you right now. This could be it right here. Crit! No! Oh my god. We are getting so close. Alright. It's paralyzed. We need a crit. We need a crit. We got it! Let's go! It's crazy because I was actually ready to give up on this fight and just come back again with some of the knowledge that we had, but we played it pretty well. Shout out to the chat. Chops, Jay, shout out to you guys for all of the, the comments there and keeping me going. I appreciate you both a lot. Chops, you are the man. Oh wait, did she say something? Oh, she's just crying. Okay. So you don't get anything? Oh, wait. What am I doing now? You made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Do I have to go back then? A badge? Oh, yeah. Give me that badge. Give me that badge. I'm happy right now. That was a fun fight. That was actually a really, really fun fight. Okay, so we can do strength outside of battle now. TM45. Attract, it makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Cool. So we got Attract. I heard that this thing called the Poke Pokathon Dome is open right next to the National Park. You should go try it since you're so good at battling with your Pokemon. Alright. I'm hype about that one. That was a big dub. We really needed it. We really needed it. That was a confidence booster. I was worried about being under level, but I think with a fight like that, the level level doesn't matter quite as much. It's just kind of strategy. 
And I would never say that I'm a super strategic person by any means, but I think we did play it pretty good. GG, shout out to you, Jay. Appreciate you. Joey stays calling me with nothing. He just keeps telling me about his, his rat. That's like the third time he's called me on that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's get this glitch off. All right, perfect. Okay, let's go heal up and keep on keeping on. That was a really good fight. Very fun. This game is really good. Like, this game is really good. Really, really good. I haven't played any of the older Pokemon games in a very, very long time, so this is very refreshing. I get kind of, like, overwhelmed with, like, the open world stuff. So, like, Arceus, uh, Scarlet and Violet... I played them maybe like 60-70% through and like I just, I don't know, I get overwhelmed with that. I like the more linear approach of the older games. It's a forgotten, it's a lost art. Everything doesn't have to be open world all the time, you know what I mean? But I like what we got going on. We, uh, let's, let's set everybody up here. I really gotta get Togepi leveled. But that's the thing that I absolutely have to do. Gen 4 through 4 and 5 was peak Pokemon? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. The The last few have been questionable. I did, and this is maybe contradictory, and this is maybe, uh, what's the word? Th maybe you guys won't agree with this, but I had a blast playing uh, Sword and Shield. I actually did like Sword and Shield. I played through them a few times. I haven't been in here. I just wanted to see what this is. Train hasn't come in. Carry the passengers on my back. That won't work. Okay, fine. So, let's keep on pumping through here. I love the older pixel art. The sprites of the... Yeah, absolutely. The pixel art, the sprites. It's just something... Huh, something different about it. The much more nostalgic feel. I mean, this is like the soundtrack. Like, you can hear the soundtrack is just incredible. Alright, what do you got? I'm pretty good at mechanics. Do you want to know how to listen to the radio? No, I don't. Okay, thank you, though. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's the reply that I wrote. I'm stuck here and was wondering if you could deliver it. He's on Route 31. Of course. Your party is full. What? Wait. So you have to take a Pokemon out of your party to grab this letter? Okay. Uh, maybe we come back and do that? That's weird. I'm not really going to do that right now. Alright, so we got a battle here. Let's see if Togepi could get some levels. Because I really like Togepi. I don't want Togepi to leave the, the party by any means. But at this point, we might have to make some, some tough decisions. Full picks. Alright, so we got some fire coming in. We got some fire coming in. And we obviously know water is going to do the, the trick here. Metronome is interesting to use. I'm really glad I actually have that. Let's try it. Oh. He uses Heat Wave against a fire type. That's funny. J, Heart Golden, Black and White, Pixel Art. So I was peak. I love Black and White. But not having the following Pokemon was sad. You don't see your Pokemon. Jay, I'm so with you, dude. I agree with you every time on that one. 100%. The following Pokemon in this game is unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. It's so good. It's so good. But you guys like Black and White? Jay, I don't know. Did you play through Black and White? That is 100% a game that I have not played sweet kiss let's yeah let's do sweet kiss that's why I like i think that's mostly why i want to go and get black and white is so i can play it like naturally oh what on my do not disturb just went off that's uh it's gonna pause the game but i want to make sure it's on perfect okay Nice. Did we did we lose Lopi there? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to what happened. 
Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Cool. So we got level 10 on Lopi. Like, look at this. You got this cute little... This little Togepi just following us around. I mean, you can't... You can't beat that. Can I get down to where this guy is? Okay, that's like another part of it. Alright. On that note, let's take a look at the map. Let's see where the heck we're even at. Alright, so we're on Route 35. It looks like Violet City might be next up. Yeah, because I, I can't see what's up there. So it looks like we're heading to Violet City. Have we been there already? I think we've already been there. This is probably where we're actually going. Yeah, I think we've already been there. Black and white was great. Got a ton of hate when it first came out. Oh, you ordered the Japanese version, Jay? <laughs> That's funny. Did it let you play it? Or do you need the Japanese, like, uh, handheld to play the Japanese games? That's so funny. I'm Cameron the photographer. You look so photogenic. Yeah, take a picture. <laughs> look at us. What is this? Okay. Okay, this is fire. It was the first game since Shem 1 that had an entirely original roster. Every Pokemon encounterable up until the very end was totally new. Okay, so that's probably why I obviously it got the hate. Because I know people are super like... They, they have to have all the old gen games in every game. I know that's a big thing. That makes sense for why it might have got a little bit of hate. But yeah, it seems like now, uh, Chops, like it's like one of the more popular, like, games. It's one of the most expensive games to buy, especially the uh, two, like the the two version, which like I haven't even thought about playing that yet. All right, let's let's have some fun with this duo battle. Switch in Bell Sprout. Yeah, let's have some fun. Let's see if Togepi can can tank a battle real quick. All right. Camper Elliot. Oh, it's not a duo battle. Sandshrew. I love Sandshrew. Sick Pokemon. All right, so Sandshrew. Okay, let's see. I don't think we have anything crazy for um, maybe a metronome. I really want to play around with metronome. It worked on your English DS. That's good, though. At least you could see the stuff. Double kick, that's fine. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Great. People finally realized how good it really was. Yeah, because it's about the story. It's about the gameplay. Uh, let's switch in here. I don't want to lose Lopi. It's good. It's good. That game aged like fine wine. I cannot wait to play it. That's 100%. I, I've probably said multiple things that need to be next up for the playthrough, but I think black and white has to be next up. It just does. There's no way around it. It's like almost like it's a shame. And the legendaries are so sick. Muriel. Let's switch out. So Muriel's a water type. We'll switch in. Bellsprout. I can't remember the name of the legendaries from Black and White for some reason. But I know they're sick. Black and White remakes? Yeah, that would be fire. It'd be nice if I could play them on, like, the Switch or something. I'm down to play it on the DS, don't get me wrong. Or on stream. Probably, uh, probably would definitely play it on stream. I'm cautious. I don't want ending up like <laughs> like shit, <laughs> like VDSP. Yeah, yeah. I feel you there, chops. That was not a good remake at all. Reshiram looks better than Dialga and Palkia. Yeah, they're kind of they're both they're all all four of those are cool designs. But yeah, Reshiram. I don't know how you say Kyurem. It's Kyurem. But those are sick. Oh, okay, you gotta fight both of them. This makes sense now. My boyfriend's weak. 
so I can't rely on him. That's a that's cold. That's cold. That's really cold. Pikachu, okay. What's up, Pikachu? I just like trying out Metronome, but I think because Togepi's so low, like none of the attacks are really gonna hit. Whatever this ends up being. Even though that's a sick move. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna swap out. Oh no. Paralyzed. That's fine. Alright, let's get in. Electric type. Mm. We'll get in... Let's just go with our electric type. Let's have some electric madness. I feel like Harry needs some levels anyway. What you guys is uh in the chat? What you guys is uh your favorite legendary Pokemon? Curious. Oh, mention how this is mainly for funny gambling. Yeah, you're. I'm starting to notice that. But yeah, what's your favorite legendary? For me, Kyogre. Billion percent. Sapphire is my my absolute favorite, so I gotta go. I gotta go Kyogre on the legendaries, but there's a lot of good ones. All right, we are or we're paralyzed right now. It's not very effective. Okay, this is fine. We just gotta get this headbutt off, and we're gonna be all right. Just whole paralyzed situation going on right now. This is fine. There we go. Lugia, yeah. Giratina, okay. Great, yeah, Jay. I think I asked you last time. I know you said Lugia. This is your this is your game right here. So nice. Giratina, yes. That's a Giratina's from Platinum, right? Is it, they keep calling me about rat. I should never have gave these people my number. I'm gonna stop answering. Right, let's see if we have some paralyzed heals, cause I don't want to run around with this the whole time. Rayquaza. Okay. Rayquaza was got to be up there. It just does. Okay. Paralyzed heals are in. We got a long way to go, I feel like, on this this little mission here. Giratina Origin Form is also sick. I gotta check that out, Jay. As a sprite in Soul Silver, he looks nice. Okay. Diglett. All right, extra sensory. Let's see what we got going on. Do something. We gotta get some XP. Perfect. Love to see that. They made a followers fight for basically everything, including shiny. Fire. But they still can't do it for the PC mini sprites. Have you guys had any luck like catching shinies in any of your playthroughs ever? I have never once in my life ever caught a shiny. Ever. Unless we're talking Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, I got a nice little collection of shinies, but the actual games, nope. Never once. Zubat coming out. But like there's something about the shinies, like that how difficult it is that makes it so great, you know? The rarity of that. And watch me run into a shiny on this playthrough. That'd be hilarious. Only in Legends Arceus. Oh, you got a shiny Steelix and Diamond? That's fire. Jay, I yeah, I, I take my comment back. I got a couple in Arceus as well. I got a couple. Of, it felt good too. This is fine. We should uh, we should K 
kill here, get some XP, get a level. Yeah, Steelix is a pretty cool, a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Steelix. I like what they did there with that. What does the shiny one look like? Diglett, we're gonna keep in. Togepi might just take this whole this whole roster down right now. That's just the the kind of thing where we're gonna magnitude seven. What the hell? I don't like that. All right, let's switch. Let's switch. I'm not having any of that. I'm not having this Diglett take me down. I'm just not. Magnitude eight. Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. This is fine. Um, okay, so for Diglett, Water Gun should just do it. Oh, you lost it after you reset the save. Oh man, that's brutal. That's br That's absolutely brutal. That's why part of me because on a future stream, so like the next game we play, we're gonna have we're gonna be playing from the actual you know actual game card. If I get a shiny during this playthrough on this emulator, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. Probably won't because I'm not I'm not having too many encounters at this point anyway. But man. That would be brutal. Alright, here we go. I did, so here's a funny thing. In my Pokemon collection videos that I've been putting out, I have all kinds of carts now from people's previous games. And I'm actually, I'm probably going to make a video of me putting all the games in and like going through the save files that exist on there. Because I can imagine some people probably had some pretty cool stuff. And as long as their save files still exist, like I'm definitely going to check out what they had in their roster. Because even though it, is, it won't be mine, if there's a shiny in there, that'd be super cool to see. Charge. Okay. This is fine. Alright. Togepi is... Is a monster. And yeah, it's cool to explore old save files. Yeah, I've, I haven't had the chance to do it, so I just picked up... And yeah, I think you might have seen the last video I put up, but I got the, the GBA, finally. So now I have something I can actually put the cards into, so I haven't been able to. But I think it'd be cool to make, like, either, like, a YouTube short or a TikTok or something about all the save files, if there's anything cool in there. Okay, this is a pretty beastly Voltorb, actually. Sonic Boom. Oh! Okay. Oh, we're going to have to switch out again. This is fine. You've done well, Togepi. You've done very well. Uh, let's get in... Let's get in Bellsprout for a little bit. If you find a legit shiny one on the car, you got to find a way to transfer it. Yeah, that's true. So, Jay, that thing that I found... I should... Maybe next stream I'll, I'll show it on the stream. But the thing I found was pretty sick because you can transfer through the cart little plug-in thing. It's super small. It's like a tiny little thing. And you just put the, the cart in and it goes directly to the PC. Yeah, you're right. I should shiny transfer anything I find. Okay, this Voltorb is very annoying. And we're still paralyzed. I just want to poison this thing. That's all I'm trying to do. Come on, get one, get one off, Bellsprout. You got this. Get one out. There we go. Alright, we're in there. We're laying some groundwork. Like, electric types confuse me. I don't really know what the perfect counter is. Like, I know ground types, I think, are good. But, like, the chart that I have, it just... 
It doesn't really show what's super effective other than ground. But grass is doing some. Getting stuff out of Gen 3 to modern games is a big process. DS Lite. Gen 4 games are the same. So DS Lite to insert. Okay, I got you. I definitely need an actual DS. Like DS Lite, something like that. Because right now all I have is the 3DS. And I feel like from what I've heard... Jay might have actually said this, but when you put the like an actual DS game in there, it doesn't look great on the 3DS. Oh god, that process sounds insane, Chops. That process does not sound very fun. <laughs> that process is not found does not sound fun at all. I'm down to try it, but it doesn't sound very fun. This guy has like seven Voltorbs. Literally. Like, how many Voltorbs do you have? And why? Okay. This one's only a level 10, so we're gonna quick attack. When you have what you need. Pokebank. Our gold on black. Okay, so there's just, there's just a few things that you need, it seems like, and you can kind of make simplify the process down. Because that's something I never really messed with, was like the Pokemon home, the banks, like all that stuff. I never really got too deep into that. For no good reason, really, either. Nice. Okay, what we might do here before we go any further... Yes, I saved all the Slowpoke. Am I giving this guy my number? Yeah, because you're just going to call me and tell me something stupid, but it's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do... Because we're... We're pretty low on health across the board, but this is fine. Everything's fine. We'll do this last fight, and we'll see kind of what's ahead of us, and if we need to go back to Pokemon Center to, to heal up, or what we need to do, but... Alright. I love these guys. The Fire Breathers. Magmar. Okay, perfect. And I just happened to lead with, uh, with Croconaw, so this should be a super easy fight. The thing is, we're, we're really still going to need a lot of levels. But we're definitely teetering on the edge right now. Nice. Very easy. Perfect. Level 21. Are we going to learn some moves? Okay, perfect. Ice Fang. Yes, please. Yes, please. Alright, I'm gonna forget Rage. Peace out, Rage. It's been good having you. It's been good having you. Ice Fang is gonna be crucial. Crucial. Magmar. We'll keep that one. I have Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Can reset Soul Silver to play the game. Keep my rare book going. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sorts out their methods of finding out how to get them. Oh yeah, the eShop's closed now too. Yeah, they're just taking everything fun away. That's a good move though, Jay. Because you have them both. That's the way to go. Oh, uh, so you guys are you guys are smart. You're way ahead of the game. So you got the stuff you needed already. Dang, that's okay. I'll figure something out. Oh, 571. That's a huge amount. I wish I just had a row of like 100 trainers right now and I could just XP grind on trainers. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I have literally... Hold on a second here. I've drank like... Hold on a second. I've drank like six waters. I'm going to go and take a quick number one. I'll be right back.
All right, we back, we back. Good news is I'm hydrated. That's like that's the best possible thing right there. Very hydrated. Jay, I feel like it would be a shame to empty your heart. Yeah, you can't do that. It's a sen chops. You're dead on. It is a sentimental connection. It's just that save file all the time and all the effort. Cause this these playthroughs aren't aren't short. It takes a lot of time. Alright, let's see what this cop has to say. You could go anywhere safely. Okay, so we can do some grinding over here. That's an option. What is this? The National Park west of the Pokemon Dome. Okay. Let's Hmm. I'm wondering if there's a place that I can heal like close before I get anywhere too crazy. Okay. I might be backtracking here like an idiot, but I'm going to go back and heal because I just don't know. I don't really know, you know, what's going on there. And I'd like to do some grinding because I see a lot of um, a path that can lead me the whole way down to the bottom there. And I think we could we could do some XP farming real quick before we get to the next place. Because I really, I want to start getting a little more tanky. A little more mill tanky, you know? Whatever we got to do. But we're back. We got some good levels. Going to heal up. Head back out on the mission. Switch my thing back over. Perfect. Also good news. The stream connection's holding up today. Really good. Hopefully I didn't just curse it, but really digging the uh I, I messed with the bitrate a little bit so i think we're getting a, a much cleaner stream should be less of an issue moving forward which is great okay so we should be all healed uh we're gonna keep leading with lopi who else do i have in here did i catch no i haven't really caught anything i, I put the other two things in the the little farmhouse or whatever you want to call it Got my vents in there because I always. Oh yeah, you got all the vent. You got everything in that. Oh, we gotta get this little glitch off. I am figuring out the emulator though, thankfully, at this point in time, because the first day I did this playthrough, it was so bad. Um, we were getting like a ton of glitches, and I had no idea what was going on. But now I know all the glitches. I know how to properly save, which reminds me. Let's go ahead and do a save real quick. And we're going to save in here too. Seven hours into the playthrough at this point, which is awesome. We're having a, a blast. The Mew Mystery. Oh, Lucario. RC. Jay, you got everything good. I'm jealous, man. You got everything good in there. I want to take this little path on the right up here and see what it's about. All right, let's see what we got. Do we have balls? I think we do. Yeah, we can maybe catch some stuff, do some fighting. We can cut through this too. Let's just see what's what's around here. Let's see what's around here. Ditto. Okay. Okay. Uh, my first Ditto encounter. This is interesting. This is interesting. Should I catch this thing? Or try to? I feel like I should try. I'm probably not gonna use it, but it might be worth a shot. If we can get it in the first try, we'll catch it. Ditto! <laughs> okay. Okay. Ditto in the bag. That's pretty cool. I don't know how rare it is to get a ditto or, or whatever, but pretty cool. We want to nickname the ditto. We're going to nickname the ditto. Chat. Give me a nickname for ditto. I'll take anything. Any suggestion, first one that I see in the chat, you get to name this ditto. So, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give it. I know we're maybe like 15 second delayed, so I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds before we name this bad boy. It's ditto season. And if I don't, if if nobody wants to name it, I'll come up with something. It's up to you guys. All right, looks like looks like I'm coming up. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Peter? Okay. <laughs> Peter is our ditto. I'm a huge fan. I don't know anyone named Peter, so... There we go. And let's get in this trainer battle. What an excellent shout out there for Peter, the ditto. Huge fan. Alright, we got a bug catcher. Venonat. Very cool Pokemon. I would like to have one of you actually on my team. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we might not be very effective against this thing. Kidding. Uh, yeah. Togepi is a monster? Togepi's a monster. I'm pretty happy with, with Togepi. Team Lopi. Lopi's not in the chat tonight. That's okay. Maybe we'll see him on Thursday. He's not here to see his boy thriving, but... We're all good there. Alright, good XP. Uh, let's use a... What's it called? Uh, antidote. We'll keep collecting these phone numbers. I'm still... I haven't seen this pay off yet, but... This is fine. All right, let's see. We have an antidote. We're building up the cash flow as well. Oh god, we're we're low on potions too. Okay, yeah, we we probably should have went to the Pokemart. We can cut this. And the little animation, the little cut animation, so sick. What in the world? Okay, so we just access the new route. Uh, this is probably going to be back. Okay, so this one's going to take me back to Violet City if I go that way. If I go this way, I can get up to that city. Okay, we're not going to go up there quite yet, but we know that's how we get there, so that's good. We got to cut again. <laughs> we got to cut again. That, that tree is growing super fast. That ain't no problem. Okay, let's keep trekking down here. Let's see what we can get. Oh, there's a little Pokeball in there. This is gonna take me in there. Perfect. Be something good. Paralyze heal. Okay, that's fine. We'll take what we can get. Things are expensive. I'm gonna go through here with the shoes on because we need encounters. This is not what I wanted to see, though. This is not what I wanted to see. I do not want to fall asleep. I'm. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. Why is it just drowsies everywhere? Oh, whoa. Hey now. Abra. Hey now. No, oh, I forgot you gotta use the, it's always gonna use teleport. That's fine. Can we find you again? No. Shoot. It's fine. We're coming back. I guess I could have used just throwing a Pokeball and just made it a Hail Mary there. Pidgey. What up, Pidgey? We already got you. But might be fun to try to fight you. Probably not. Actually, probably not fun. So we're not going to fight you. I'll take that back. Oh, I can't run. Oh, this is what we're doing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, Pidgey. Alright, so you are going to be the first victim of Ice Bang. I really want to put this... I want to put this move to, to use quickly. Avra is nice to have on the team. Yeah, Jay, I gotta... I'm gonna try to encounter 
Abra again and just use Pokeball off rip. Ugh, Ice Fang. One of the best moves. Maybe, arguably, Ice Fang is the best move. Words cannot ex describe how much of a fan I am of Ice Fang. Let's potion up. Perfect. Okay. We are going to do two things. One, try to catch an Abra again. I'm going right back on the pathing that I was at. I definitely want Abra if possible. Okay. Nidoran's pretty cool too. Definitely want to catch Nidoran. Gleaves. What's good, Gleaves? Ooh. Oh. 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 What was all that about? Okay, so we gotta get a catch. We gotta get a catch. Alright. Gleaves, what are you up to, man? Doing things? What, what could you possibly be doing, Gleaves? What could you possibly be doing? Word on the street is that you are now a licensed driver, though. So who knows what you could be doing. Alright, Nidoran is sick. Huge fan of Nidoran. Uh, we have to get a nickname. We gotta nickname everything. Nidoran, uh, we just caught a Peter. Nidoran's name is gonna be Rick. Just because. Gleaves, I be grinding Apex with the boys. Okay, Gleaves. You're some kind of cool guy, aren't you? You're some kind of cool guy. I have not left the house since Caden's party. Caden's party was on Sun Saturday? Gleaves. Brother. Seek help. Touch grass. I did it again. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I have I'm big brain energy. Lopi's sleeping. Yeah, it's Lopi's Tuesday night. Everybody's got to remember. That's why we got to go live on Thursdays now. Because everybody wants to sleep on Tuesdays. So we're on the Tuesday, Thursday grind from now on. Give everybody a nice little rest. And we're going to hit the uh, Pokemart up. And buy some stuff because we have absolutely nothing. So I don't know if I have to go back into this place over here. If there was one up here and I missed it. Either way. Because that's the gym. Oh, okay. I have to go into the place to buy. That's fine. We need heals bad, so we're going to do that. We are going to do that. We're going to go back in here. Get us some heals. Uh, I can't remember which level the heals are on, but that's what the elevator is for. Gleaves, have you been anywhere cool now that you have your license? Uh, I want to say heals were like level three. Uh, no. They were not level three. Already excited for Thursdays. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Me too, though. Me too. The streams are fun. Okay, this is where we need to be. Yeah, the streams are fun. I'm, I'm excited to be going live more than one day a week. Gives me something to do. I have nothing to do with your light. You have nothing to do with your... Oh, these are like extreme heals. Okay. No. Yeah, you can't type. You're right, Gleaves. What keyboard do you have? What keyboard do you have, Gleaves? Because you, ha you have like a $400 keyboard. 
So you can't tell me that that's the problem. At some point, you gotta look in the mirror. At some point, you gotta look in the mirror. That's just how it goes. Alright, one of you two have heals, right? Yes, okay. We are... We're bulking up on heals right now. We'll get 10 potions. We'll get some super potions. We'll get five super potions. You have, I have a wooting 60 HE, 60% 60 keyboard. Why, why? Get a revive just in case. Why do you have a 60% keyboard and what, and second of all, what does that even mean? Like, what does that even mean? I'm very uneducated in the, the keyboard world. I want to have five of each of these. Just to make sure we're, we're set up. Okay, maybe burn heal. We don't need five. Let's just keep one. Ice heal. Let's at least get one of these so we have it just in case. Awakening. That one I want to have three of. Yeah, Gleaves, like, I get that it's a 60% keyboard, but I don't fully... That means, like, when you press down, it only does 60% of the action, right? So, but, like, what game does that... Like, what game does that, like, help you with? Like, that's for, like, racing games, I feel like. I'm pretty sure that's for, like, racing games. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, are you playing Trackmania? Maybe you're just a big Trackmania guy. All right. What do you say we stop in and we do a little bit of uh, gaming here? There's no F1 keys, so no numpad. Okay. I could not live without the numpad. Absolutely could not live without the numpad. That's, that's a must have. All right, Bulltorb flip. Let's see what we got. <laughs> How many times are we going to Voltorb flip and the first one's going to be that? Please tell me. Okay, so we know up here is a 1. We know down here is a 2. Okay, that wasn't it though. Alright, I'm starting to figure it out a little bit. I think. Oh, okay, okay, wait. I'm learning. I'm learning. Alright, so there's no Voltorbs in this row. There's one Voltorb in this row. And all of these rows. Okay. So up here, there should be no Voltorbs, right? Okay. Now we have three coins. Down here, there's three Voltorbs, so I don't really want to mess with that. Let's try this row now. Damn, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing in here. I'm getting out of here. I feel like I'm, I'm just not, not ever going to succeed. But it's fun to check in. Okay, back onto the road. Back on the road we go. All right. So, we're looking pretty good right now. We're getting some good levels. I'm interested to see because it looks like I have some options with what I want to do. So, we're going to take this route up and really just see what it's what it's got. So, I can go through here. Heard about bug catching contests where bug type lovers gather from all over the region. Okay, what is this guy? Today's Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Use one of your Pokemon. Catch a bug type Pokemon to be judged. Okay, let's try that. That sounds fun. You have to use Team Lopi, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? Sure. Here are the sport balls for the contest. I got 20 sport balls. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Okay. I don't know if I should be running with Lopi for this. 
where are the Pokemon? Are they up here? Oh, cool. Okay. This is neat. Whoa! Pinsir! Okay. It's gonna buy me. It's fine. I feel like extrasensory does do something to the bug types, but we'll find out. It does not. This is bad. I don't even know what Sweet Kiss does. I'm, in, I'm curious to see. I might actually wait out here. Alright, Sweet Kiss. Oh, it confuses. Okay, that's fine. We don't really have anything that's going to do much. I'm going to mess around with Metronome, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. We're cooked. We're cooked. Yeah, we're cooked. Paris song. Oh no. Oh, Paris song is not what we want. Oh no. We got ourselves in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, I thought we were gonna get lucky. Yeah, we're in trouble. I'm gonna kill both of us that's actually insane <laughs> that's a that's actually insane like if i don't catch it right here it's over and i'm just doing like a little sporting event <laughs> i can't believe i did that metronome was pear song like you can't make that up which really sucks because all right, we're gonna try again. Come on, catch. All right, okay, we got Pinsir. Now, I think the rules said that you get to keep the last Pokemon you catch. Pinsir is a super cool Pokemon that I'd like to have. I don't think he's gonna make the party, but none of the bug types are gonna make the party. Right, like none of them are. So, I think just because I don't have heals, apparently, we're just going to keep Pinsir. I think that's pretty cool. They're going to judge. This is pretty This is pretty badass. I like this. I got third place. Not bad. Oh, another Pinsir? Was this higher level? Metapod? Metapod wins? What level was it? Okay, so we get third place again. Dang it. Okay, that was pretty cool. Give a nickname to the Pinsir. Uh, yeah, Pinhead Larry. Pinhead. Can we fit Pinhead Larry? No, we can't. It's just gonna be Pinhead. All right, we got a pincer. That's cool. Not mad about it. Walt. What's up? This is Walt. How are you? Do you know that today's the bug catching competition? Buddy, I was already in there. <laughs> like, have some awareness, Walt. Please. Just zero awareness from the guy Walt there. All right. Okay, so we're here. Is this like a... I gotta check the PC real quick. Let's just see what we got. All right, so we only have these three in there. Very cool though, I'm really, I'm really happy about the ditto. We'll switch that off. Nice. All right. So we're good. All right. Also, I'm going to log off early tonight. We've been on for about two hours. 
uh thursday we are gonna try to go until probably 8 30 we're gonna try to make it a three hour stream on thursday night uh tuesdays are, are brutal i got a long work day so it takes some time but great stream appreciate everybody for joining today have a good rest of your night and i'll see you thursday we're gonna keep on grinding through this uh, i'm really excited to see where we go but other than that